This is how you use the hip hook. First thing is you want to find your hip bones by putting your hands on your hips. And then if you bring your fingertips right to that inside part of your hips, you'll find that soft spot. That's where the hip hook is going to line up. So I'm going to give this to you. I want you to hold it. And the first thing you're going to do when you're lying down on your side is you're going to line it up with your nipple and then bring it down to that spot in your hip and then you'll tip on top of it. You want to give it a try? Sure. Okay. Once you lie on your side, put your hand on your hip again and see if you can find that soft spot right on the inside of your pelvic bone. Yep, right there. Great. Now pick up the hook put by the handle, line it up with your nipple, and slide it down to your hip right on that soft spot. And then tip over onto it, onto your stomach. Perfect. Now you may need to adjust it a little bit. It might need to be moved up or down a little, and that's fine. But if you're finding an area that's really tight, just let your body soften into it. Let your body relax. After a little while, you're, start, you're gonna start to feel like it's not really putting that much pressure anymore. And that's the perfect time to bring your hand back and just place it gently on top of the handle and put a little bit of downward pressure. This is gonna cause the hip hook to rotate and put pressure on the iliacus muscle itself. How's that feel? Wow, it feels intense, but amazing. Awesome. You'll be amazed. The next time you do this, you aren't going to feel anything. Because you know what? Happy muscles don't hurt. So once that iliacus gets happy, it's going to be a whole different ball game.